I'm going to create a bootable USB jump drive and I'm going to put Ubuntu Linux on it. I'm going to insert my jump drive. You need at least 2 gigabyte jump drive. And then I'm going to open up Disk Utilities as soon as it finds it. Okay. You can find that in your Applications folder. I'm going to click on my jump drive. I'm going to hit Erase. I'm going to leave it at Fat. You can title it whatever you want. Hit Erase. And then hit Erase again. Make sure you get all your data off of it before you format it. And open up Safari. We're going to go to Ubuntu.com. Then go over the desktop. Get Ubuntu now. Now you can get 6432. I'm going to do 64 and then hit download. Um, you can donate to them if you want to. So, and, and not now, take me to downloads. You can just click that. Shouldn't take too long. It's not too big of a file. It might take a while depending on your internet speed. Okay. Now you can just quit Safari. Gonna open up terminal, you can search in spotlight, find it in your application folder, whatever. Gonna open up my download folder where I put the Ubuntu operating system. Now just type the following command. Now I'm gonna locate a fi this file on my desktop because we're converting it to an image. So I'm just gonna drag and drop my desktop in the terminal and that was it supposed to happen. Um, I can just do it this way. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Easy way of locating your desktop rather than typing it. So I'm going to name the new file we're converting it to the same thing, except the difference is it's going to be a dot .img. Put space and then drag and drop the download file into the terminal and then hit enter. Shouldn't take too long, only a minute or so. And if you notice on the desktop there's a new file. Now we're going to get the list of USB devices, and it is disk 2, the USB I'm going to put it on. So now we're going to um, unmount it. You can just press the up key and remove the list and put unmount disk. And then locate the disk that you want to unmount, which mine is disk 2. And it disappeared from the desktop, so it was done successfully. Then you put super user do. And we have to remove the .dmg on this file. So you just remove that and then put enter. Tell it to use the image, drop it in there. It is R disk 2. Make sure you put R disk, it's not disk 2, it's R disk 2. and type in your password and it should be copying it maybe should only take a minute or so if you have a little light on your jump drive it flashes when it copying over so yeah I know it's doing something there it goes and then you hit eject and then you go wipe out some Microsoft Windows operating system put Linux on it 